I'm going to install the Plick Content Management System. You will find their website at the domain plick.com. And when you browse on their website, you will see this big icon, which, uh, which says Download Now. And from there, you will find a link to the current version, which is a better version 9.1. There's also a demo to it, so you see how it's going to look like after we installed the current 9.1 version. Voila, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to download the current version with the shell and um, I have that command WGET and I need the exact URL. I just copy and paste the exact URL, download it and let's see if I download it it. Okay, there we go. I got an index file which I will remove later. Right now I see here this version. It's a zip file. Let's just unzip it. Unzip. Click better. Okay. It's unzipped. Let's keep on going. Let's see the folder, which is Plick Better 9.1. This is a very long folder name, and just um, change. Let's just change the folder name to something shorter. Let's just call it Plick. Because I'm logged in as a root user, I want to change that that uh, the permissions for plick the command shown are there I have the um, user ekind de for that folder plick and now I just changed changed it okay Okay, now we have to just um, read the README file. We upload it. You can use the FTP. You can use uh, File FileZilla, for example, to upload it. I just use the shell. And when I I will see here right now the plick uh, folder, and we can um, now we have to just um, change some file names. For example, here you got to read the um, README file first. Under two, it says rename settings PHP dot default to settings. Okay, let's just do it. We can try it right here. Where is that file? It's right here. We just rename that file and just push the button F2. Click on Enter and now we changed that. Next we have to um, upload all the files to your server. This is what I have already done. Change mode some files or folders. Avatars. Let's go to that folder name. User uploaded. That's the name. Change moded to 777 okay we've done that okay we just do the rest with the with all the folders which are which are named under 4 backup cache templates template C and so on okay I will pause the video right now after I inst I change mode all permissions here I change mode 666, the um, files, db connect, lang, options, settings. And I change mode the file config.php to 655. Okay, after we've done with that, we just open the browser and um, open our domain where we installed Plick. 
or we, where we upload it. First we upload it click. We browse to that folder, install Not forgetting that we installed Plick in a subfolder, which is Plick. And now we are prompted with the installer from Plick, and we just click on Install. There we just have to enter our database name, our database username, database password, the database server. We have to leave that to localhost and the table prefix will leave it also to Plick. After we have installed, after we have inserted all the all the names we are supposed to, we click on check settings. After we entered the correct settings, we will be <laughs> it will be um there is a screen which says the database connection was established. Found the database. Okay, then we click to next and we're creating the, the tables. And then it will tell us that we successfully created all the tables and that we have that we now change mode DB Connect PHP back to 655. Okay, we go back to Click to the Plick folder lips DB Connect. Where's DB Connect? And change back, change it back to 655. I click on OK. OK, what's next? Things to do next. OK, change mode. We did that. Delete the install directory. OK, let's just delete the direct, um, install directory. We will change the folder of the, f the directory to Plick. And where is install? Right here, install. We will remove it with the, with the command remove rf install. Okay, now it should be gone. We can check it here again. And there's no install folder anymore. Okay. After that, we can already log into the admin area using the password god and the default password 12345. It's very important that you change your password after you logged in as the root user which is god. That's all so far.